God, we just thank you for another day. Just thank you for the chance we've had to come out here the last uh, couple months and uh, help all the ranchers, all the farmers, uh, help their crops, their cattle. People in Texas are praying for rain. This prayer circle in the town of Mertzen has been meeting every week since April. We need more for the creeks, for the springs. There are 30 communities across the state that could run out of water by the end of the year, and the authorities are scrambling to save them. They're bringing in water by tanker and they're building pipelines 60 miles long to save these towns and stop them from going completely dry. It don't matter to us how you bring it, just as long as you bring it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Barnhart, Texas is running out of water. The town well actually went dry last month. That day that we ran out of water, and I turned on the faucet and nothing was there. And at that moment, I knew this hole of Barnhart was down the tube. I went, dear God, help us. No, no, this is fresh water. When you run out of water and you have to haul your water, it's like somebody slapped you. We do have a public water supply because we have to. I may have to go without a bath, but do you want your grandchild to not be bathed? Do you not want your mothers to be bathed? Now that is frightening. And we're in the United States, in America, where this should not happen. It's, it hurts you. That's, it hurts you like nobody understands. Now, even on a day like today, where we've had a sudden outpouring of rain, it's still not going to be enough. We got to get floods. We got to get a hurricane to move up in our country and just saturate everything to replenish the aquifer. What we've got here is a combination of factors. We've got drought, which is made worse by climate change. We've got rising population and we've got fracking, which uses a tremendous amount of water. We are in the middle of Texas oil country. Fracking started from just around the corner here at Big Lake, but inside this community center here, we have heard a lot of anger about fracking. Basically, people here feel that the oil companies are stealing the water out from under them, and if they don't have water, they can't live here. There is five to eight trucks yes, sitting there at one time yes, lined up. I'm a Texan. Oil is our industry. What I am against is them taking our resources, using it against us, and say, oh, it's just due to the drilling. This is what we need. They're, they're dry because they're sucking it out just as quick as it can go in there. Ma'am, it boiled down to two words, greed and money. They're just sucking all the water out of the ground. Common sense will tell you, you keep sucking on something, it's gonna finally suck it dry. Why can't I have a say? Why can't these oil companies understand? Because they haven't had to go in there and turn that tap on and it not have water. We gotta have some, some restriction somewhere to go out and tell these oil companies they've gotta shut her down. In a long and hard drought like this one, Anybody who has water on their land is a king. If you're going to develop the oil, you got to have the water. Demand is there and they're, they're buying it. Larry Baxter has water on his land, but he wants to sell it, and that's caused him some problems with his neighbors. This is the controversial place right here. People don't want me to sell water out here. I have many customers, trucking companies, willing to and wanting to come in here and buy my water, but we're just running into more and more obstacles. I can sell 100 truckloads a day, easy. The JP, she told me that she would do everything in her power to keep me from selling water. So how long were you able to sell the water for? Oh, a few days only. People are gonna fight over water anymore. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's just going down and down and down and down. I guess our, our atmosphere is changing. Seems like the climate's changing, not only here, but all over the world. I don't know whether it's due to global warming, but I think that might be a good excuse for it. 
And I mean, I hate to see it go on for 10 years, and then we really realize that's what it was. And when the water's gone, that's it. And we're gone. If we don't have water here, people aren't going to be able to stay here, and they're going to pump it in here, and it's going to cost more than oil. So why do you think the people of this town should be quiet about it? Mm -hmm.